Medical Disclaimer This video is for informational purposes. It does not replace the medical advice of a trained doctor. Seek medical advice before beginning any treatment plan. Good day and welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Today's magical blood sugar is... Doo -doo -doo. 21.6 Yay And I talked to a doctor about this And we have a little bit of a plan Which I'll come up probably tomorrow's video Or the day after About doing a check-in It'll be a two-part check-in Ooh because my diabetic nurse is off on holidays and she won't be back till next week and I have a phone appointment already set with her. Today, I want to start off with a story. In my early 20s, I worked for, let's just say, a large convenience store chain. Probably the largest convenience store chain in the world. And while I was there, I started to get pain in my shoulder. Actually, it was this shoulder. And it got to the point where the pain was so bad I didn't really want to move it I couldn't lift above my head it um, ended up being I lost motion in the arm not full motion but enough you know like I said I couldn't lift up this condition is called uh, frozen shoulder and it is where your uncontrolled blood sugar attaches to the collagen in your shoulder now it's being shown that type 1 and diabetics can have pain in both shoulders maybe not equally but I can remember going into a uh, physiotherapy office and I was put on one of those muscle tendons and my arm would kind of twitch give or take and this was fine but I had to do home exercises with I'm sure we've all seen them now. Tensor bandages. And it was a lot of pulling out, coming in, and I had to do it on both arms. I guess they were afraid I was going to get it on this side. And I kept this up. It must have been about a month. But all of a sudden the pain stopped and the motion started getting back. It was weird. My arm felt so much better. Since that time, I really haven't had a reoccurrence. Now, this could be very simple in that my blood sugars, we tried to keep them relatively under control, excuse me. Oh, my tongue was something sharp on there. But you don't realize, you know, when you hear something like that, it's, oh, you've got a frozen shoulder. Well, it's kind of like, well, thawed out. I don't really remember them 
saying to me, put ice on it or put um, heat on it. It could have happened pretty close, but it didn't really ha happen to me. And I can remember I had to do these tests. I think for it, we ban this five times a week. Now, this video by no means is for you to think, oh, well, I know what to do. Now I'll just go buy one of those fancy machines. It needs to be done by a qualified physiotherapist. But if you are experiencing pain and a lack of motion, if you're unable to move your arm, go see a doctor. Your doctor will probably will put um, you on physiotherapy. Now, I was lucky enough it cleared up fairly quickly. But that, for a while there, I just kept thinking, oh, I sprained my shoulder. I didn't really go see anyone. And it was, you know, when you really wanted to scratch on the back of your shoulder of the opposite side and you couldn't do that anymore, it was pretty much a pain. Now, for me, Tylenol kind of dulled the pain, but the pain was still there. It was kind of like, hmm, we need to see where this is coming from. Now, I've talked to you in, in through and through about keeping your blood sugars under control. Keeping your blood sugars under control may not help you in the development of frozen shoulder. But it's a hell of a lot better than, oh well, I'll just keep eating what I want, do whatever I want. And then you end up in pain. I can't remember when I did uh, my complications video. It is a complication of type 1 diabetes. It is associated with type 1 diabetes. If you get pain in your shoulder, it's worth going to see your doctor. Pure and simple. It would, it, even though the pain, I still don't think it's an emergency situation. But some people may think differently. Well, in BC anyway, we have a number of what we call walk-in clinics where you can go and get seen by a doctor without tying up the emergency room. Frozen shoulders hurt. You gotta see a therapist to get your arm moving. Now, since, I think I've said this once, but I'll say it again. Since having my frozen shoulder, I have ha not had a repeat, which is a plus. But it was around that this time that I started seeing my endocrinologist, who got me pretty close to getting tight control. Doesn't always happen, but it was a plus. So,
try to keep your blood sugars as normal as possible so that you don't go through the pain. It sucks. It's a complication of diabetes, but that's not only who gets it. It has been associated with some women. No one really knows why in other people that they develop a frozen shoulder. For us, it's more than likely just sugar. But if you are experiencing any pain, contact your doctor. Get some physiotherapy going. You won't regret it. Have a super day. We'll talk again soon. Bye. My email is Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. <laughs>